We are at the Endangered Arts Gallery on Hilton Head Island, and I'm so pleased to be talking to James Coleman, who is a world-class artist here at the uh, show for the artists to come and visit the Endangered Arts Gallery here on South Island Square on Hilton Head Island. And I wanted to ask Jim if he would tell us about some of his work, because he's got a new genre that I haven't seen before, and I was hoping he could tell us about it. Well, you know, it's always fun. Every year I sit down and I think, is there something I haven't worked on yet that I'd like to really try and tackle? And uh, so this year it was poppies. It just so happened to be poppies. So let's go over here. And I'll yeah. Do you work it? No, no, no. I buy it. I buy it. This is a brand new limited edition and, and it's uh, Provence. Uh, and I always it really I think it showcases uh, uh, poppies in a way that I've never painted before. I I painted sunflowers in, in Tuscany and and uh, of course gardens all over. But this is something that's absolutely brand new for me. So it's fun and we're getting a great response for it. Well, you know, a few years ago, you started painting some of these Italian scenes. And what's what's with the European uh, influence in your life now? What's going on there? Well, you know, when you go to Europe, it changes your whole your whole view on it, and that's what happened to me. I I started going to especially Italy and Spain and, and France, and when I got back, well, at first I, I even started painting while I was over there, but when I came back, I, it just came flooding out of me, you know. It, it's kind of one of those things when you get inspired, it just takes on a life of its own. So it, my joy is to relate people to the world as, as, as it kind of flows through my, my mind and my eyes. And so it's fun to tackle these new projects and, and to just enjoy the different genres that I've been able to paint. Well, you do have several, and of course one of the ones you've been with for a while are these uh, sun or moon or the light coming through the deep forest. The low country pieces. Yeah, those are uh, magical and they show a lot of your uh, a little bit of the Disney-esque type of uh, past that you've had of, you know, being with Disney, but uh, it seems like you've mutated into some brighter, cheerier colors over the years. Well, that <laughs> all happened after I met my wife, my wife Lori. I, I was single for about 10 years, and the, everybody just said, your paintings are getting darker uh -huh. and darker. Uh -huh. Then I met her, and it was like... I well, but so they, you know what? The first time I was ever in Hilton Head, I I was in the car and the sun was setting and I saw it through the trees and it it just it impressed me in such a way that I've been painting that ever since mm -hmm. and and I became more acquainted with kind of just low country and the the uh, um, kind of. Uh, landscape that we have here in Hilton Head and, and down further south, and it's just so inspiring to paint, and, and the Disney kind of a feel lends itself really well to that, that softness. Well, now, you've got some uh, different uh, genres, I just call them genres, but it, it seems like you have a, a thing with lily pads and water, and then you've got your European uh, this uh, whole motif going of like a European travel. Uh, do you like all all these equally, or do you kind of go from one to the next, uh, even? In, uh, you know what I like is after painting for four years, you can actually choose what you might want to paint, as opposed to having a gallery say, "Oh, why don't you paint more of this?" Or that. Oh yeah. And so uh, I love ponds. I have a pond in my backyard, and. And uh, there, there's a romance about gardens that, uh, well, Monet, look at what he did with them. Such a simple subject, and and I never thought I would kind of get that excited about uh, painting something that is so simple, but. After uh, really working on quite a wide range of gardens and ways to present gardens, I just realized there is no end. It's endless. So uh, I just want to be able to paint whatever I see and feel and, and, and really 
become uh, part of that landscape and, and hopefully share that with other people. Now, is yours on the other side of the wall here as well? Yes. Could you tell us about that? Because yes. that's something else I've, I've really never seen before yes. here at Endangered Arts anyway. and. Uh, this is, looks like a totally, uh, is this the newest? Is this the yeah, newest? These are, these here are, would be the newest pieces and of course here again another small oh, yeah. poppy oh, yeah. and uh, a Tuscan, uh, the Tuscan sunflowers. Um, this this year vibrance with color is really mm -hmm. my uh, focus and mm -hmm. and I have a, a, a pond with a koi over here that's just in vibrant vibrant color mm -hmm. very raw but it, it uh, what I want it to do is to just vibrate like like uh, a garden wood in the, in the sunlight and um, uh, over here, sunflowers. Oh yeah. That I yeah. For a while, but this is a whole new way of going about it. And you know, you seem to be uh, kind of like a, a modern impressionistic, uh, an artist that. Uh, That's kind of the idea. Bringing, I want to bring impressionism in this in a contemporary way that gives me the chance to be uh, uh, more. Uh, inspired to sit down and try and paint and be out there the same, and in the same and way, but with a different tilt to it. Yeah. Because I can't get away from my impressionism. I love it, and that's who I am. Well, you know, even though you have these different styles, somehow it still seems like you. So you've got the, you know, you can tell a, a James Coleman. I think, at least in a lot of these different styles, and it, it's so interesting because I just don't know anybody else that paints with as many different styles as you do. It's very interesting. Well, I'm trying to uh, keep myself stimulated and excited, and hopefully the collector's the same thing. I think we have that. I know people come in to see, well, what's going to be the newest thing this year? And so um, <laughs> I always have to be thinking, okay, what else can I bring out of this uh, this kind of idea and just change it up a little bit to make it different, whether it's using the gold leaf the way I have now for, for a number of years, or um, the, uh, the I have a couple of pieces on raw linen over here that uh, Great. are brand new. This year, these are vignettes, uh, uh, Harbor Town, 18th hole. Um, and I just actually just finished these paintings before the show. Fantastic. But they're on linen, and wow. uh, it's a vignette that uh, really gives a, a little more of a painterly feeling, and it's just fun to do. Well, they're certainly fun to watch. I love the. I love it. My um, my wife loves the uh, painting we have uh, that you did um, of just a, a, a simple stone path along uh, a flower garden, and it's very simple in the motif. But she just absolutely adores it. Hangs over her desk. I just really want to thank you for talking to uh, us today. And this is the Endangered Arts Gallery on Hilton Head Island. The October artist show with the artists coming to visit and uh, lots of fun for the community and, and for me an art lover here on Hilton Head Island.